Hi, I'm Bree from House of Reptiles, and this edition of Seriously is about the idea that venomous snakes are aggressive and they chase you down. Uh, over the years, we've heard many stories of people maybe having a friend who was chased by a venomous snake, or there's a partic particular type of venomous snake that they've heard of that's just really aggressive and really scary because it always chases you down. Um, that's not really very logical, and that's kind of what this video is about. Um, as far as envenomations go, there's only on average about one to five deaths a year in the United States. And there's kind of two situations where that would happen. Um, the first one would be accidental. Someone's hiking, you know, and happens to step right on a snake before the snake has a chance to get away. And, and its first reaction is going to be, you know, possibly to bite. That would be very startling for the animal. Uh, same kind of situation maybe if you're rock climbing and you reach up on a ledge and happen to touch a snake. Uh, exact same idea that could be startling. It could happen really fast for both the human and the animal involved. Um, and then the other situation would be if somebody's kind of harassing a snake. In a lot of envenomations, there's alcohol involved. Um, so usually the snakes can take every chance it can to get away. And if that can't happen, last case or worst case scenario, it, it might bite as a last resort. Um, kind of the logic behind why a venomous snake isn't going to chase you down, why they're not aggressive animals is because as humans we're not prey to venomous snakes uh, if anything we're actually we're predators we're we are the perceived threat to them um, you know ideally snakes are they're really well camouflaged so what they want to do is use that camouflage to their advantage and hopefully just not be seen uh, if that doesn't work if you've ever come across a snake in the wild that you you startled you probably notice that the next step for them is going to be to flee to get away uh, snakes are quick. They're really good at not running at you, but running away from you. Again, we're, we're predators. We're scary to them. Uh, we could cause them harm. So they, they want to get themselves out of that situation. Uh, if that doesn't work, that's when it could start to appear that they're aggressive because their next step is to scare you away. So they want to put on a big threat display. They want to make you think there's something to be afraid of. And hopefully then they can use that to their advantage and get you to retreat. Um, and then kind of the, the last resort, last case, is where an animal would bite, you know, to defend itself. Um, kind of the next part and why chasing you down isn't very logical is because snakes don't have a constant source of venom. So if they bite you and envenomate you and waste that venom, um, now they're kind of in trouble because it could just so happen that within the next five minutes their food source walks by and they don't have that venom to bite it and kill it and have the opportunity to eat it. And that could be a really big loss for a snake because they don't have a constant source of food. They, they really have to take advantage of that food when they find it. Um, so again, here's Mr. Wyatt, our Sonoran Sidewinder. Um, as you probably noticed through the whole video, he wasn't coming after me. He had plenty of opportunity to come after me, um, but he didn't. He's kind of probably very likely hoping I'll just leave him alone, that I don't see him. Um, as you can see, he's just kind of trying to lay still. Um, he is a, a venomous snake here in the museum, so he's probably being in captivity a little bit more used to humans than your wild snake would be, but he's still uh, a hot animal. Uh, we don't handle him the way we would a pet snake. Um, and as you can see, even Hi Wyatt, um, with a little bit of nudging, uh, he's not coming after me the way he could. Um, he's going to probably want to get away here, but we do appreciate him helping us make this video. And I'll let you guys see how a sidewinder moves here. Um, and just kind of, to sum everything up, uh, venomous snakes are not aggressive animals. They're not going to chase you down in the wild, seriously.